He has been described a playboy occupying Zambia's state house due to his continued international movements at the expense of the country's already strained financial coffers. A recently leaked Treasury cash flow dossier reveals how millions are spent on luxury activities such as dinner dance cruises, walking safaris, and limousine hires during President Edgar Lungu's international trips. According to the respective dossier to news diggers by a whistleblower, some depressing details of cash transactions made on President Lungu's trip to the United Nations in September 2015. The Treasury deposited more than 17 million kwacha for various logistics. And on another state visit to China in March 2015, the President traveled with 20 senior government officials and State House staff, 16 ministry officials and permanent secretaries. The China trip also included 21 security personnel, 11 journalists, all paid by the state. The President has so far undertaken 55 international trips from January 2015 to date. This has not gone well with opposition party leaders in the country who have termed him a playboy. 17 million quarts of taxpayers' money when people are suffering, they are no, no medicines, they go for cruise, they go and the hire limousines, they go for, for luncheon in China with about 37, 37 to 30, I'm not about between 32 and 37 delegates to China for three days, spending 17 million. President Lungu has just told us he's worth 23 million. Are you telling me he can spend 17 of his 23 million in three days? That is recklessness. We have a playboy in state house. Meanwhile, United Party for National Development, UPND leader Haka Inde Hichilema, says the revelations are testimony of the levels of recklessness, extravagance, contempt and patronage. He adds that based on the dossier, it is more important for President Lungu and his large entourage to be in foreign countries to dance the whole night, as compared to the life of a poor Zambian child in the streets and villages learning in grass-touched school roofs leaking with rainwater while sitting on bricks and bamboo desks. There's a lot more damage being done to the economy. I have a small team working here, networked regionally, internationally, every inch they move. We are aware. Here is response from State House regarding the said dossier. Uh, it's, a, it's a grossly inaccurate uh, a story alleging astronomical expenditure on presidential trips, particularly uh, the one uh, in New York. Um, this uh, inaccurate story was based on uh, the conclusions the paper made uh, on an illegally generated and possibly doctored bank statement from Zanako. Uh, which cabinet holds, uh, cabinet office holds at Zanako, possibly doctored. Uh, uh, that it is illegally generated and released is established. That it is possibly doctored uh, is, 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 is very plausible. There is a very strong feeling in status that uh, it is doctored because if it contains details such as uh, boat cruises, I can state with certainty that that never happened. It has never happened on any of the presidential trips. The Deputy Secretary to the Cabinet, Christopher Ngunga, is undertaking a comprehensive inquiry to see how uh, uh, individuals either in Cabinet office, in the bank, or in news diggers would have concocted uh, 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 figures. This is not the first time that President Edgar Lungu is under the spotlight, having earlier this year pledged himself to reduce on international trips. It remains to be seen how long the debate will take, considering that Zambians easily forget about national issues that adversely affect them. Mwaka Nafukwe, Movie TV News, Lusaka.